What's poppin' Raw Hive? Yes, you read the title correctly. We are back. This is Fall Wars Part 2. Dos. Do. You're probably wondering, oh my god, it's a sequel. Is it better than the first one? Hell yes! This is the Terminator Judgment Day of sequels. We are the best sequel. This is the best sequel. I've said sequel way too many times. I should probably stop. Sequel. Stop it. Okay, I'm sorry. Before we begin, this video is brought to you by Engineering Education. More on them at the end of the video. And let's jump in! You're probably wondering now, hey, Matab, what is a fob? Well, a fob is usually people, like, probably usually like older men of my skin complexion hitting up random chicks like, Hey baby, I have Mercedes, you wanna come in Mercedes? I will buy you food, I will give you jalebi, I will give you fucking candy. Come and be my baby, let's go and get freaky in the cumble. And that is a fob. As you might remember from our first episode, my friend Alicia gets a lot of these messages. So I got her again, I asked her, hey Alicia, you got any messages for me? And you know she came through. So, without further ado, let's begin. Fob Wars Part 2, Electric Fobaloo. <laughs> Fob Wars Part 2, better and fobbier than ever. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Fob Wars Part 2, The Fobbing. Hi, Editor Matab here. I just want to profusely apologize for that woe. It was very bad and I have to do it again. So, up, A. Thank you. And let's get on with the FOB episodes. Our first message comes from some dude in India, and he messaged her on Instagram with these words. FOB message comment. See, the budget is high for this video. He messaged her, hey, so where are you from? So a day later, he messages her and says, seems busy, space, exclamation, exclamation. Morning, uh, dear. But she still didn't respond. Then, a day later, he just says, vanished. Can you imagine what it must have been like for this man? Like, his heart's broken. Let's see. Hmm. Hello, uh, my name is Ranjit, and this is the story of how I met my future wife. She's not my wife yet, but she will be. So I saw her on Instagram, and I thought she was very pretty. So I messaged her and said, Hello, uh, so where are you from? And then she didn't respond, so I said, Oh, she seems busy. So I said, Good morning to her. Then I'm like, uh, dear, are you there? She wish she didn't respond. I think she vanished. It was very sad. I waited a long time. I waited from day till night. And then she left me on red. No! Wow. See, ladies, that's what happens when you leave us undelivered. You break our hearts. Next up is some other dude on Instagram. He messaged her, Hey, you give me professional Cinderella vibes for some odd reason. And that's all he said apparently. See, in 2020, we send DMs. But think about in 2030, we'll be sending holograms. It might look something like this. Oh wow, I'm getting a hologram message. Hmm, let's see. Hey baby, you give me professional Cinderella vibes for some odd reason. Come on, baby, don't be shy. Come on, be my jalebi, baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. I literally created holograms just so I could talk to you. Come and be my baby forever. Yeah. See these hip movements? They will change your life. Yeah, I'm leaving this app. Fuck this app. Next up, we have the smoothest line in pickup history. Like, the amount of pure swagger that this line has is, like, immeasurable. Listen to this line, okay? I am from Egypt, but now I live inside of your heart. Holy shit, I am wet. It's insane, I am wet. I want this man. But I'm wondering one thing. How does this man live in the heart now, okay? Is he, like, Miss Frizzle? Does he have a magic cool bus, go very tiny, and then goes into the heart? Or what is the process? Yu-Gi-Oh cards for sale, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for sale, oh wow, gee willikers, Egypt, it's very boring, hmm, hey, this girl from Canada is very cute, I know where I should go, <laughs> I made it, the human heart, woohoo, uh, 
guys. Um, for the next thought message, I don't think I can properly articulate the whole story because apparently this is a massive story. So I've called on upon Leisha to narrate the whole story for us. And here it is. All right, so the story behind that text conversation is the place where I used to work. Um, there was this guy there and he, I'm not gonna say his name, but he was one of the head chefs. Um, he was this 40 something year old married Moroccan guy. And this is last year, so I was 18 at the time. And when we first started working, everyone exchanged numbers with each other. So he had my number and we never talked, but then out of the blue, he started talking to me. And so one day I was just in the kitchen and I was talking to one of my friends and I was starving and I was like, oh my God, I would kill for some garlic fingers right now. And I don't know how he overheard because his station in the kitchen was like across the room, but he did somehow. And so at the end of my shift, I'm like in the back, putting on my boots, getting ready to leave. And he turns the corner with like this bag full of food. And he was like, shh. And I was like, huh? And then he said, um, he was like, oh, I made this for you. I heard that you were hungry. I don't want you to go home hungry. Uh, so just take it and don't tell anyone. Cause like, you're not allowed to do that. But I was like, okay, cool, free food. So I took it. Um, I was kind of weirded out, but I wasn't gonna say no. So I got home and I was like, I should probably thank him. Cause I felt bad cause I didn't. So I texted him and that's what you see is I said, thank you. But he had been texting me constantly before that, like literally every single day and calling me multiple times a day. And like, I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay. Um, and that's why he was so mad at me. And like, he called me like Alicia and Alicia and he never learned my name somehow, which was kind of offensive, but yeah. So that's basically the story. Guys, the next one here is just, Sad and pressing. This guy comments on her page, says, Hey, you have a cute cat. Then message her a day later, Hey, girl, I want to get to know you if that's cool with you. A day later, messenger says, Hi, girl, I'm just in Calgary right now. Thought I could finally get to see you and get to know each other. Then she didn't respond. Then a day later, Lol, you not going to reply? It's all good. I just want to get to know you, that's all. She didn't respond. Ladies, do you know how depressing it is to be left on red? It is very, very sad. You don't understand the pain that this causes us. I can just imagine what this man is going through. Leaves from the vine Falling so slow Like fragile tiny shells Drifting in the foam Little soldier boy Guys, that was sad. That was really, really sad. But do you know who I feel even worse for? People who go from high school to first year engineering were completely confused. That's why we brought our sponsor today, Engineering Education. Roll the sponsorship clip, Matab. Hey, are you in high school? And are you thinking of going to engineering, but are you kind of like, oh my god, this stuff might be really hard? Well, look no further, because Broadhead Entertainment has partnered up with, drum roll please, drrrr, Engineering Education, woo, sponsorship, woo, yeah. Like Broadhead Entertainment, Engineering Education is a Calgary based operation, and they specialize in helping you guys prepare for the university grind. They have a team of tutors with them that will help you and hopefully you guys can gain some better perspective and hopefully become better engineers. So hit them up today at this email right here. Tell them Matab sent you and you know, thank you. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much Engineering Education for sponsoring this video. 
And guys, remember, arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor and Elijah McClain. This is not a joke. This is real. As always, I'm a top brawler, stay hydrated, wear a condom, and... If Kakashi can wear a mask for fucking 700 episodes of Naruto and Boruto, then you can probably wear a mask for a few months. Grow the fuck up. Idiots.